The Ladder Paradox The simplest version of the problem involves a garage, with a front and back door which are open, and a ladder which, when at rest with respect to the garage, is too long to fit inside. We now move the ladder at a high horizontal velocity through the stationary garage. Because of its high velocity, the ladder undergoes the relativistic effect of length contraction, and becomes significantly shorter. As a result, as the ladder passes through the garage, it is, for a time, completely contained inside it. We could, if we liked, simultaneously close both doors for a brief time, to demonstrate that the ladder fits. So far, this is consistent. The apparent paradox comes when we consider the symmetry of the situation. As an observer moving with the ladder is traveling at constant velocity in the inertial reference frame of the garage, this observer also occupies an inertial frame, where, by the principle of relativity, the same laws of physics apply. From this perspective, it is the ladder which is now stationary, and the garage which is moving with high velocity. It is therefore the garage which is length contracted, and we now conclude that it is far too small to have ever fully contained the ladder as it passed through, the ladder does not fit, and we can't close both doors on either side of the ladder without hitting it. This apparent contradiction is the paradox. The solution to the apparent paradox lies in the relativity of simultaneity, what one observer, for example with the garage, considers to be two simultaneous events may not in fact to be simultaneous to another observer, for example with the ladder. When we say the ladder fits inside the garage, what we mean precisely is that, at some specific time, the position of the back of the ladder and the position of the front of the ladder were both inside the garage, in other words, the front and back of the ladder were inside the garage simultaneously. As simultaneity is relative, then, two observers can disagree without contradiction on whether the ladder fits. To the observer with the garage, the back end of the ladder was in the garage at the same time that the front end of the ladder was, and so the ladder fit, but to the observer with the ladder, these two events were not simultaneous, and the ladder did not fit. A clear way of seeing this is to consider the doors, which, in the frame of the garage, close for the brief period that the ladder is fully inside. We now look at these events in the frame of the ladder. The first event is the front of the ladder approaching the exit door of the garage. The door closes, and then opens again to let the front of the ladder pass through. At a later time, the back of the ladder passes through the entrance door, which closes and then opens. We see that, as simultaneity is relative, the two doors did not need to be shut at the same time, and the ladder did not need to fit inside the garage. The situation can be further illustrated by the Minkowski diagram below. The diagram is in the rest frame of the garage. The vertical light blue band shows the garage in space-time, and the light red band shows the ladder in space-time. The X and T axes are the garage space and time axes, respectively and X and T are the ladder space and time axes, respectively. In the frame of the garage, the ladder at any specific time is represented by a horizontal set of points, parallel to the X axis, in the red band. One example is the bold blue line segment, which lies inside the blue band representing the garage, and which represents the ladder at a time when it is fully inside the garage. In the frame of the ladder, however, Sets of simultaneous events lie on lines parallel to the x-axis, the latter at any specific time is therefore represented by a cross-section of such a line with the red band. One such example is the bold red line segment. We see that such line segments never lie fully inside the blue band, that is, the latter never lies fully inside the garage.